And greetings once again, Primitive Earth Humans. Welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. Let's see. Where last we left off. Yeah, we did a whole bunch of these contracts here. I think uh, in this episode, I would really like to uh, do something a little bit more interesting. Uh, escape the atmosphere looks like a pretty good one to do. Uh, test the RT Hammer Solid Field Booster at the launch site. Uh, <laughs> at the site. That should be pretty easy. We could just do that... Uh, right on the launch pad. I think, you know, maybe we'll do that one first. Um, all of these tests at the launch site ones are super, super easy ones to make some quick cash, some Kerbal dollars real quickly. Uh, do, do, do. But I think uh, we could probably do the orbit mission and the escape the atmosphere probably both in a single mission. But uh, let's bang this uh, RT-10 hammer uh, booster thing out real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. I think that is the only one we can do on the launch pad at the moment. Yes, okay. Let's do that real quick. I thought we had already done that. Maybe, maybe we didn't. I don't know. You do not know. But this should only just take a moment again. All we really gotta do is just yeah, the thing, boom, on right there. Well, limit the thrust to zero, and take all the dang fuel out of the thing. I think we probably got good old Jebediah. Let's, uh, just in case something goes wrong, let's put our engineer in there again. Because, <laughs> to hell with the engineers. They're expendable. <laughs> Dime a dozen, I tell you, a good pilot is a little bit, uh, more valuable. In many many cases. So, okay. Get our Kerbal Flight Engineer thing here. Ah, oh, these windows. I'm using the, the Kerbal uh, Mod... Uh, what is it called? Kerbal Mod Admin uh, program to manage my mods now. So that hopefully I don't, uh, you know, I can just uninstall all the mods in one go with that when an update on Steam becomes available. Yeah, that way my Steam update doesn't come in and mess everything up. Even though I don't, I don't know if a Steam update for this game would just wipe out all my mods. But in any case, all we gotta do is... Achoo! Fire that thing off, there's no fuel in it, so... No danger. Grotastical. Mission complete. A few more bucks. I didn't even notice, uh... I would get uh, 775 funds on that, okay. And uh, Bill Kerman got no XP. Because <laughs> he's a useless engineer. Okay, back to this thing. Let's go ahead and we'll do the escape the atmosphere. And I think we can just go for orbit. I believe we have all the parts we need to do that right now. So we're going to both escape the atmosphere and orbit all in one mission here. We're going to check our science and see if we've got, uh, what do we got, 28.2 science, and we need 45. The thing we really need is, yes, we want this uh, Terrier liquid fuel engine, and we're going to need that to get into orbit. So I think actually, <laughs> scratch the plan, I think what we're going to have to do is uh, maybe collect some science, and there's a lot of science we can do right here, uh, you know, at the Space Center. So anyway, it looks like pretty much the only thing we can do right now is, uh, to get a Kerbal into space. We won't be able to do, uh, the orbit just yet, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll do them one at a time. Go ahead and put our thingamadingy on there. Just in case, I think I'm going to put a heat shield on this guy. And let's, uh, put some fuel on this. After, of course, that decoupler, we need our decoupler. 
put a stack decoupler on there, and yeah, we hold the Alt key and click this, and we can double these guys up. I'm, I don't know, I'm just guessing. <laughs> Four of these will probably be enough to get us uh, just into space here. And what I'm going to do too is uh, let's grab a couple of wings. Go with a four way symmetry on this. Just for the stake, sake of stability. And um, why don't we throw a little bit of science on this thing too? In fact, now just two of them. We don't want four mystery goos on here. And we want to keep these things balanced too. So we got to put at least two on there just so we don't our center of mass off and have this thing go all over the place so I'm not sure let's take a look at our oh let's put an engine on there it's not going to calculate ship force until we put an engine on there I'm going to use the swivel engine it has a uh, gimbaling on it which means it can it can point itself in different directions and uh, you know, basically steer the rocket this other uh, LV T30 um, is pretty much just a uh, point in one direction. So, you know, the way these rockets steer too is there's a, in the capsule, there's a kind of a spinning, you know, uh, reaction wheels in there that will change the orientation of it, but uses a lot of electricity to do that. And the heavier the rocket is, you know, the slower response you're going to get from the reaction wheels. So, uh, having a gimbaled uh, rocket uh, engine on there is going to make it a little, little bit easier this thing let's go ahead and bring these down as far as we can and okay now we just call it space one <laughs> so we just want to get into space and we'll save that guy and I think uh, you know as a matter of fact I think we can probably do a little bit more science so let's just go ahead and throw a science junior on there Actually, we got to get this out of the way so we have room for it to do that. Okay, yes. I want to bring that back down with us. So, I wonder... Let's just turn these guys sideways. Put them way down low on here. So we can have room for our parachutes. We're going to use a two, couple of these guys on here. Just because it's going to be a little bit heavier and I want to make sure that we don't smash our science junior because we're going to use our pilot. Uh, only pilots can can use SAS and steer the rocket as well too. So, you know, if we put a, a scientist on here who can reset experiments, you know, that's great. But they can't pilot the, uh, the rocket. So if the rocket goes off course, uh, you're pretty much screwed. Unless you've got a pilot on board or unless you are controlling it with... Uh, something like a probe here, which we don't have any probe bodies yet. They can also provide uh, SAS control, stability control. So we need a pilot aboard this thing. Let's add one more fuel tank on there. I'm just guessing all this stuff here. <laughs> Let's give this a shot, see how we do. We can get into space. And just get enough science to get a few more parts here. So, okay. We're going to hit T to engage our SAS. And we're pretty much just going to kind of go s straight up. You know, I may want to go... I think this direction we're looking at here is north. Oh wait, no, this is north. That's east. Toward the ocean is east. Which is the direction that uh, uh, Gerben is spinning in. And that's west. And I think we haven't really collected any data from over there in those kind of grasslands. Normally you want to angle off in this direction towards the east so you're taking advantage of the uh, the planet's spin to kind of, you know, give you a little bit more velocity. But we're not trying to achieve orbit right now. We just want to get into space. So hopefully we've got enough uh, fuel on this thing to get there. We're going to hit Z to go full throttle. And I think we are just going to go for it. Oh, and what do we got here? This is a mod that says we can we can do a material study right now. 
because we're maybe a little higher altitude than we were before. So, okay, how much is that going to give us? 7.5 science. Mm, you know, I'm going to save that. I'm going to wait until we get a little higher because I think uh, we can get more science. So, let's go ahead and blast off. Continue. And I'm just going to hit the A key to kind of angle us west. Let's take a look at our fuel. And right up here, too, we want to get to, I think, about uh, 70 kilometers is, is the point at which we end up outside the atmosphere. So let's see if we're even going to have enough fuel to get there. Um, let's take a look at the map and get a quick look at what our apoapsis is going to be. As our fuel starts running down, we got about a third of our fuel left. Are we going to get to 70? Possibly, possibly. Just a suborbital trajectory. Yeah, and I think we're going to get there. Oh yeah. We're definitely going to get there. And, uh, let's see. And we can see this apoapsis is going down just because we're still experience some uh, atmospheric resistance here. We've got a little bit of fuel left. But I think we will achieve uh, exiting of the atmosphere with that. Let's go ahead and... Well, go ahead and wait. Uh, we could have done science in these uh, other, you know, these, these three different colors of the atmosphere. There you could say are, are different zones you can do science in all three of those. And you know, maybe that's something I'll do off camera. But uh, once we get into the higher parts here, let's go ahead and just use a little bit more fuel just to make sure we get outside the atmosphere. And let's see. Escape atmosphere, and so we've done it great. So while we're in space, uh, Jebediah is the first Kerbal in space. We'll do some mystery goo. We'll save that. We'll observe our materials bay. That's, yep. And that gives us a 25 science. So, okay, groove testicle. Why don't we go ahead and maybe We'll just turn a little sideways here. And we're going to jettison. We've got a little fuel left in this this guy here, but I just want to jettison it sideways right now. Just to get it out of our way. As we come down and we get into... Oh, the, yeah. We're going to do a crew report. That gives us another five science. And gritty. Yes, this uh, science alert mod. It's a nice little mod to have that tells you when you have new science to do, because it's pretty hard to keep track of, oh, did I, did I do this experiment in this zone? There's so many zones, so many biomes. And boy, we're way up there. We're at 124, <laughs> and we're still going up. But we're going to come back down. Probably going to come back down pretty fast, too. So, let's see. Oh boy, yeah, we've got... Yeah, I probably didn't need to do that second burst there. <laughs> and more than enough, I probably could have got rid of, you know, maybe one or two of these extra fuel tanks. And, uh, still achieved, uh, yeah, leaving the, uh, Kerbal, uh, atmosphere. But, no problem. We did what we needed to do. So let's go ahead and just time accelerate forward a little bit. We're still going up. And there we go, we've reached Apogee and are coming back down. So... When we get down to a lower zone, boy, we sure did go up high. Yeah, let's go ahead and stop right there. We'll do the other mystery goo. Experiment gives us another nine science, so yes. Lovely. All kinds of science. Stack up that science and gives me the points. Is. So, can we not do another uh, crew report here? 
Yeah, so we'll do a crew report there. And coming down. Let's go ahead and turn off our SAS right now. And we'll just let this thing kind of stabilize itself. Yeah, maybe we will turn it on just to keep it stable. We don't want to blow up our experiments. And we're going pretty fast. But our speed is coming down. And there we go. As soon as we get down to about 200, you know, under 250 meters per second. And we're moving pretty quick here. Now we can hit our parachutes. We're getting close to the ground, so let's hit it. Another thing to watch out for is uh, your altitude meter here is pretty much always relevant to sea level. So if you're coming down over the mountains, um, you might want to hit your parachutes a little sooner. You know, just look for that. You can see the shadow of your uh, spacecraft there on the ground. But if you go purely by your altitude uh, and you're coming down, like, say, over the mountains, <laughs> you're going to want to hit your parachute a little sooner than what that says. Uh, because you could very easily crash into the mountains. Let's see, do we have a new... Uh, I guess we... I wonder if we can do EVA here. Nope. Cannot disembark while off Kerbin's surface. Uh, we don't have the uh, skill or the ability yet to do that, so... So let's just uh, fast forward a little bit here. And as we can see, so our altitude says we're at uh, 400... over 400 meters. But really... We're at... Uh, yeah, there we are. We're at 381 meters. So, um, that's the thing. This, this is all relative to sea level. And, uh, so you gotta be very careful with that because you don't always know what the elevation of the ground is there. So, let's see, I think we can... When we do a crew report now, we're gonna have to EVA first. So let's do a little EVA. We're going to take the data and store the experiments. We'll do an EVA report. That gives us another 5.6 science. And, let's see, can we store that? We can store that experiment. And let's get him off of there. He falls on his little ass. <laughs> and, we can do an EVA report from the ground. because it's another 2.4 science. So, let's see if we can grab... <laughs> if we can get high enough... Now, we can't get back in our capsule now. We'll just recover these separately. We'll recover the vessel. And since we left the spacecraft, the vessel right now is Jebediah Kerbin. So, we got 2.4 science on him at the moment. And let's see. Now, what we're going to have to do is uh, our spacecraft is a... Uh, where the heck did that thing go? Anyway, we'll go to our tracking station to recover our spacecraft. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, there we are. Oh, we went from here all the way over to here. So, yes, let's see. Recover. Recover vessel. Yes, we do want to do that. And what we get? We got 62 science on that. Sweet. 8,829 tons. Kerbal dollars. So, swing. We can unlock one more thingy here. So, I think... What do we got? We got 109 science, so we can unlock two things, right? On... Basic science might be good to do. We get, uh... Um, State Picnic, which is an unmanned probe. And I think that does have the ability to do a little bit of steering. So, that's the thing, you know, we can use, you know, to get some science out. Uh, we get a rechargeable battery pack, which is really good. And a thermometer, which just means we can collect even more uh, science. And a couple other things that maybe aren't all that super useful. But uh, these three things right here, the thermometer, the battery, and uh, the state picnic probe, are definitely good things to have. Um, we've got some maybe slightly better... Uh, Light control stuff there. I'm not sure we need that just yet. 
Ooh, this aviation we're going to want to get pretty soon. And the general construction, not so much. So I think uh, perhaps maybe what we're going to do is we're going to go with this aviation and the basic science right now. I know before I said we probably want to, to get this advanced rocketry, a larger fuel tank, and uh, the terrier. Um, but really with the early early going in this game, the more science you can do, uh, the more science you can earn, the quicker you can unlock all this stuff. So we're going to go with uh, um, this right here just to get things like these wheels and things so we can build ourselves a science rover and collect all kinds of science around the space center. So we'll unlock this. We will unlock the, uh, yes, the uh, aviation there. Leaves us 19 science. Okay, groovy, groovy, groovy. Good enough. We want to collect a little bit more science, so let's go over to our aircraft uh, assembly building. And sure, we could, uh, we've got this new cockpit here, but I think we're just going to use the command pod. Build ourselves a little science rover. We've got a uh, basic jet engine now, which is what we're going to use to move this thing around. We're going to have to severely thrust limit that thing. That's okay. So now, what else do we got? Uh, we're going to need a little fuel for that guy. So we're just going to go ahead and use this uh, A1 liquid fuel engine. We'll go ahead and put this uh, Juno basic jet engine on there. Just a little bitty guy. I believe that needs some kind of air intake as well. So what we're going to have to do is put the small circular intake on the front there. So that'll give us a way to move around. Or give us some, some thrust for this guy. So now let's uh, actually let's move this back and put some science on this. This is, after all, a science rubber. So we put our science junior on there. And we're going to pilot this with our scientist because he can reset experiments for us. So let's go ahead and put a couple of those guys on there. And I think we're just going to put, screw it, we'll put six of these guys on there so that each zone we go into, um, yeah, we could do all of the, uh, all of the science for that. We've also got now, do do do, communitron. We'll just put, uh, Oh, we'll put that on last, actually. Or no, actually, we'll just go ahead and stick one on the back here. Let's turn off our symmetry mode so we don't accidentally put two in one spot there. We may... Oh, okay. We, again, we want to have a thermometer on there. Um, let's put that right on the side here. Turn it sideways and kind of put it down low because our carbo is going to have to get out of this thing and uh, get onto the ground to do the uh, the EVA reports and things like that. And we want to be able to have him have the ability to climb back in there. So I'm going to turn this thing sideways once this is all built. You'll see. You'll see. And right now, throw a couple of wheels on there. Let's gauge symmetry mode. And let's get those lined up a little better. Sure, just like that. And now, and we're going to want to steer this thing too. I've tried this before, putting just one steerable wheel on the front, but just three wheels makes this thing a little unstable and it can flip over pretty easy, so we're going to have to use some kind of structural support on this thing. So we'll put a couple of these guys on there. And this thing's going to be ugly. But it will do the job. That's all that matters. And we'll put our wheels right there. And we're just going to have to spin those guys. We'll just give it a little... Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, come on. There we go. Yeah, and the big long end goes towards the back on these. And make sure they're lined up straight. And gritty. That's our little little science rover. Um, hopefully, it will be stable. 
little trick I like to do is turn this guy sideways. Maybe a little bit more sideways, just about that much. Okay, good enough. So our Kerbal can jump out of there, he can hang off the side. We jump down to the ground, and it's just close enough we get him up here again. And if we jump him up in the air, he can just reach and grab on and climb back in to the, uh, the capsule there. Just for the sake of, uh, just in case, let's throw a couple of batteries on this guy. Uh, let's turn off our symmetry mode. Just put one there. And another one here. So we've got plenty of battery power. We can transmit our science data back to base and, and maybe not have to store so much in the command pod since it's not going to hold a lot. So, science rover. Science rover one. Schwing the ding dong do. And our pilot is going to be our scientist. Bob Kerman. So, okay, we've got our three mystery goo experiments. Yeah, in fact, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to... So we want that science junior to be kind of sideways as well, so that he can reset that. So let's take these guys off. Let's take these guys off for now. We'll have to redo that. right there. Okay, great. These guys will just, uh, I guess, you know, five of these is probably going to be good enough. We'll just put one on top. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think, uh, you know, maybe our Kerbal can climb up this little structural thing here and get on top uh, to reset these goo canisters because that's maybe going to be a problem, him getting up there to do that. So, okay, so we don't really have any staging in this. Let's go ahead and save that guy. Well, go ahead, I'll make sure we've got Bob in there. Yes, we've got the good old Bob, the scientist. And yes, we shall put... Hey, okay, oops, no, not that. Thermometer. And why don't we just, uh, sure, we'll just stick it right there. And then once the physics kicks in, it always bounces a little, hit our brakes. Schwing radio. Now we've got this new piece of science equipment. Let's log a temperature. Okay. 2.4 science, because we have not taken a temperature reading here yet. And, um, of course we can't do a crew report, but what we can do now, let's make sure Bob can get out and get back in there. Has he done EVA here? Yes, he has. Okay. Let's put him on the ground. And I think he's done EVA on the ground as well. But let's go over and have him collect that data. Um, now, the ther thermometer is a reusable device. So if we just jump... Yep, yep, we gotta not be maybe too close to it, but if we jump and hit F fast enough see that we can jump back in there. So, okay, we'll reboard. Thrust limit this uh, engine. And about maybe 6.5, we'll go ahead and fire it off. And we want to keep our throttle way down low over here. We want to keep it down um, until we see how fast this thing is going to go. So, what we're going to want to do is just roll over into some different biomes here. But we're going to take the brakes off. Let this thing get going. Maybe we'll throttle up just a little bit. Maybe about a third. And throttle up a lot until we get a little speed. And throttle back down. Like I said, we want to keep this under 10 meters per second because it can get a little crazy. 
once that gets up to speed, now we can turn off and head off in this direction. You don't want to be going too fast when you hit these uh, little ramps and things like that. We can go with a little bit more speed, maybe half throttle here. And hit the brakes towards the bottom so we don't hit it too hard. Seems if you hit like some sort of train change too quick, these uh, little wheels can really explode. So let's, oh boy, let's hit B, hit our brakes. <laughs> and we're gonna hit X to throttle all the way down. Turn our brakes on. And now look at all the science we could do. We could do a crew report. Schwing, we'll do that. We're gonna expose our uh, science bay. And we got seven and a half science from that. And there we go. <laughs> Somehow. I got him onto the engine. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Get up there. And there we go. <laughs> We're up on the back of this thing now. So. We'll do this mystery goo. And we're going to reset that. We're going to collect the data from this. Remove the data and restore that experiment. And we can collect this data. And restore that as well. Now let's see. We can get back in there. We'll slide down the side. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Gerbils are not very coordinated. There we go. We'll climb on. Store experiments. Yeah, let's see. We'll go ahead and board him back in there. Now, let's, uh, review our stored data and we're just going to transmit the stuff that we can here that we're not going to lose any science from that um, I think we'll keep this one, we'll keep this one keep that one and sure because we want to keep all the data there, you lose a little bit in the transmission let's do another temperature scan and we'll go ahead and keep that data too so okay let's go ahead and throttle back up until we get moving again. Might help if we take our brakes off. And you go full throttle just until you get going a couple meters per second. Throttle and we'll head over towards here. All of these little spaces around here are different biomes. So we're going to head over, you know, to our, basically our command center. Mission control. We'll do a little, do a little bit of science from over there, at least as much as we can. That's probably close enough. Let's go ahead and hit the brakes. We'll throttle down. And we can do new science. Observe the mystery goo. You have observed it, the goo. And we'll do another goo. And we get a little bit more. Let's do yet another goo. I think we can do maybe all five of them and get some data here. It's not a lot. But all the science counts. That's another three science. Sure, why not? And uh, Bob's probably going to have to be done after this because I don't think he can store any more on himself or in the capsule. So we're going to keep all that data. We're going to log the temperature. Oh, no. We've already got that one. Maybe, maybe we could have put a few more of those guys on there. Let's do a crew report. We're going to go ahead and send that since we get the full science from it. That'll save us half to a, having to carry it on us. We're gonna, we're gonna EVA Bob. Do an EVA report, which we've already done an EVA, EVA report over. Can we do one on the ground here? And yes, this is another new biome. And we'll go ahead and maybe collect up this uh, data here and now we can log the temperature again we'll save that data can't do a soil sample just yet um, that's the thing we're gonna have to unlock with more oh wow 
big, and if you hit climb, I guess you can get to the top of this thing real, real quick. So, let's store our experiments, and then we'll go back inside the capsule. Review our data. We'll save that, save that, save that. This we can transmit. And our, electric, our electrical charge is going down. Which is why I had two of these batteries. I probably could have put a third and a fourth on there. But again, we're pretty much at the limit for the amount of science we can collect all in one go here. So, okay, cool. So, let's, uh, crew report. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do the crew report. And let's see. You know, I think we're probably good with the amount of uh, data we have for now. So let's go ahead and uh, recover the vessel, see how much science we got. And that's just one of the biomes. Uh, each building in the space center is another 56 science, so we can unlock another thing. But uh, yeah, each, each of these little areas here, um, at least most of them, are their own biome. So look at the funds we got, 361,000 funds now. And, okay, groovy, 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 groovy. So, with that 56 science, I think what we're going to want to do is probably, yeah, probably this one here. This uh, general construction gives us things like, uh, like struts or stability. Uh, gives us uh, an adapter for uh, larger uh, fuel tanks and things like that. And a launch stable stability enhancer. Should just like launch clamps that let go of your uh, rocket just before it's gonna go flying off. But I think this is what we need right here. We really need this Terrier engine, and it would be nice to get this T400 uh, fuel tank too. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock that. That leaves us 11 science, and I think that's gonna be good for today. Um, we've got some money to to upgrade some things right now. Probably a good idea right now to spend the 75,000 funds and and upgrade our uh, runway over here. That's going to give us a nice paved r runway. <laughs> Good luck trying to fly anything on that uh, bumpy dirt uh, runway over there. And I think uh, that's pretty good. That leaves us 286,000 funds at the moment. And um, yeah, lots of science. And now we can properly build ourselves a rocket that is going to get us into orbit, I think, which we'll have to do in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this video please do remember to rate comment share subscribe and always obey your alien overlords or you will be probed in your bunghole <laughs> and once again this is alien pet 13 signing off probe you later